right as soon as you enter the hub they're gonna there's gonna be one piece right behind here so grab that then jump up here and grab this next piece Next, we're gonna head to this part of the hub place. Grab this piece up here. And then head over to this weird pillar in the middle of water. Grab one. Then there's gonna be one there, so let's just grab that as well. Then hop onto this rope thing, jump up, go in the cloud, go in the fan, and then grab your full player point. And jump down here to grab this player point. Last two is gonna be in the water, so let's head over to the water. Dive down, here's gonna be one here. And the other one is gonna be at the opposite side of the pond. Hold space. And you grab your last player point in this hub area. Now hop in this teleporter to conveniently head to Breezy Plains. Now once you're in Breezy Plains, you're gonna have to go to, I guess, your left from your facing starting position. So this entire area right here is gonna have a few stars, so we are gonna have to collect the points all here. So first of all, you jump up here and head over here because that's A cave down here which will have the player point in it head out of the cave and we'll we've actually missed another pool so there's gonna be a piece that you want here just before we made this spinning platform in this pool let's head back because this area is still has a lot of uh points so we just conveniently jump up here jump up head on this cloud and you as you can see you immediately spot a lot of play points but first let's kill these robots because they are hiding a player point for this pad right here so grab that player point and grab this one that you can immediately see. Now we have the chest. So let's move over to the chest and the first chest goes this, 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 this. In a weird Z shape if you can see it, it's like a zigzag. Cool. Then let's head into the cave because it's the closest uh, star that's near to us right now. Wait for the darkness to roll, but generally I like walking forward and picking a box. Go straight up and to the right. There's nothing to the left here, so I mean to the yeah, go to the left. There's nothing to the right. And go straight down. Avoid the fish. Now I did a terrible job there, don't do that. Now you just follow this all the way through. Close call. Sometimes the lighting will be a bit slow, just wait for the light to appear. So now you're gonna head, you're gonna stick to the top of this tunnel over here. Just stick to the top and you will find the coin. And we can now leave this cave. Drop the box. Now immediately leave. Go up here. And we are going to have to get that one over there. So in order to get that one, you have to do this long optical course. Don't worry, it's not too hard. Skip this cloud.
and awesome now i believe that is all of the points in this area so it's time to leave but right on your way out go to this waterfall and there'll be a player point right hiding right here now jump across this weird little bridge and then collect this player point in this waterfall and now in this other waterfall there's a player point hiding right there so don't miss that sorry that's not a player point that's a piece and if you look up you can immediately see a player point now it doesn't matter how you get up i'm gonna do it my way because well i know how to do it the fast way but basically you just go around so you just grab this player point and this is actually the next cloud area so we can conveniently just head to this area and it's going to be the cloud area now this is the route i'm taking it doesn't matter how you get to the top as long as you can get the player point at the end and it will be right here perfect now you do have to go back of course you could just press the walk button but if you don't feel like doing that that's entirely choice your choice you do have to make the parkour back though like i did so you just press breezy planes easy now you're back in breezy planes the cloud area was over there just now and there's actually one play a point hiding behind that cloud area so if we just go over here there's gonna be a sneaky little piece hiding right here a lot of people tend to miss this and our last uh, player point will be we will spawn in but before that we have to collect the ninth player point which is gonna be right across from the cloud level place so the cloud level is on top of that pillar over there and if you look over here there's a small little obstacle course you have to do to get the player point on top of that cloud there so just jump over ignore all these bots you get nothing from killing them and easy now last player point is going to be at the spawn because you collect all those pieces and that will be breezy planes world one thank you for watching